In this video, I'll be showing you how to create contacts. There are various types of contacts that have a hierarchical system in time server when creating invoices. It's important our users understand the best location to save their contacts, and they should only be entered once and then associated with the various clients or matters to avoid duplicates. We generally recommend users save contact information under the client level. The client level is under clients, clients and matters, the client name, and the contacts tab. The other area that you could potentially save them in is under clients and matters, the matter name, and then the contacts tab. The reason we generally recommend to save under the client level is because this will feed into all the matters under that specific client. A matter contact will override the client contact and receive the invoice instead. So it's important you save the right contacts in the right places. So I'm going to go ahead and go back into the, the client level and click on contacts, click on new contact. If the contact is saved as a main type, this contact will be the one used in invoices unless there is an optional invoice contact specified as well for this client. The optional invoice contact will always supersede a main level contact. A main contact would be, for example, the president of a company. An optional invoice contact would be, for example, the accounting department of that company where the president wants the invoices to be sent to. Any contacts listed under related party or other are just for informational purposes and do not receive or appear on invoices. So to describe properly the priority order in which the invoice will fetch contact information in time so first fetch at the matter main contact then the matter optional invoice contact and then the client level optional invoice contact and then the client level main type of contact if contact details are missing at any of these levels, the system will continue to go down the list in the order I've just described in order to fetch the contact details for the invoice being generated. So go ahead and fill in all the details for the contact. Ensure you've got the email down, especially if you're going to be emailing your invoices out and the address details. And you can even grant portal access to the user and create a portal login from the bottom here. The username and the password will be emailed out to the user once you've clicked saved.